how to add wire clause in android studio with sql step by step if not yet subscribe my channel programming geek please subscribe okay now first of all i'm gonna create a new folder to create android application in g drive android tutorial folder with the name adding higher in android now the folder is empty okay now start android studio yes go to file menu click on new project yes select empty activity click on next and now select the directory the folder what i just created the folder name is adding higher in android just uh, select and uh, click on ok and then name the application application name is adding higher clause android click on finish yes now the application is created this is main activity.java and this is activity underscore main dot xml now i'm gonna design this page okay so first of all add a button control from palette yes this is the button control concentrate in top left right and bottom yes now change the text of this button control button text is load data okay now add a number number text view edit text number okay now resize this edit text number and concentrate in top bottom right and left okay it's done now add a text view below the button control yes text view is added now concentrate in right left and top bottom okay now my design is ready now go to the code and in the button change the font size text size so android text size equal to 35 sv okay now edit text text size also uh, 35 sp and text view edit text text view text size also 35 sp now text color change the color of this text view text color is black yes now see so that the design is changed and uh, the looking nice yes yes id of this button button id is button and text view id is text view and edit text number id is edit text number okay first of all i am declaring the edit text button and text view so text view first of all text view edt equal to text view find view by id r dot id dot edit text number and button gtn get button find vbidr dot id dot button this one for button okay it's done now edit text so text view tx view find vbid r dot id dot text view okay now it's done now btn get yes btn get now btn get dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener yes on click event is created automatically by click pressing enter create method to connect with sql first of all i'm gonna creating a method to connect with the sql server so suppress lint new api and public connection 
class name con class okay then connection con con then string ip i am declaring ip database name port and uh, username password so string ip ip is 172.1.2.0 port is 1433 this is default port if you change uh, the sql server port you should uh, you should set the sql server port port number username and password okay now database name database equal to my database name is let's say the database name my database name is my task db just copy this my task db from the sql server database and uh, fetch it in the database yes stick mode dot third policy tp equal to new stick mode dot third policy dot builder dot permital dot build now stick mode dot set third policy tp add a try catch try catch exception e exception then log dot e bracket error double quotation error then comma then exception dot gain masses semicolon okay now it's done now class dot for name in the try at class dot for name net dot source force dot jtds dot jdbc dot driver okay now string conual con url equal to jdbc colon jtds colon sql server colon double slash then plus ip now i will set ip for username password and database name so ip ip is my ip what i declared variable listing ip 172.1.2.0 okay then ip then port semicolon database name equal to database and then semicolon user user is un and then password password is sql server authentication password so password equal to pass okay now semicolon or oh, foot plus sign after pass yes now it's done okay now con equal to driver manager dot get connection con url okay finally return connection con oh it's displaying error yes cannot be initial might not have not initialized so con equal to connection con equal to null yes now return connection con okay it's done now in the button click event right sql command first of all connection connection equal to con class this is the connection class what i just created now if connection not equal to null i mean if connection is okay then it will execute so string sql query this is the sql query select star from database table name my database table name is student info underscore tab so select the star from student info underscore tab higher student id equal to edit text number so edit text number i already declared edt for edit text number so just put edt okay put semicolon yes it's done now statement st equal to connection dot create statement then result set result set result set equal to st dot execute query a query is sql query okay now must add try catch 
try and then at catch catch exception ex then log dot e error ex dot get message okay add a while loop while result set dot next result set is result set okay txb it will display the result in the text view so txb dot set text result set dot get string column index is 2 okay now yes these are the control and the, it will display the result in the text view when i put the number when i put the id in the edit text number so see so that uh, you must uh, put the syntax accurately now i'm gonna add jar file in the project library folder so go to the folder this is my android application f and open the library folder and in this library folder i'm gonna add jtds 1.3.1 dot jar file yes 1.3.1 jtds 1.3.1 dot jar file just copy this file and paste it in the library yes now it's done now i'm gonna add the jar dependency so go to the file menu and click on project structure click on dependency dependencies and click on f and in the dependency add a jar dependency so now copy the directory yes now paste yes now copy the file name jtds-1.3.1.jar dot jar just copy and put backslash then file name yes now click on ok now the jar dependency is added now click on apply and ok yes now expand the manifest and open the android manifest now add permission user permission and name equal to permission dot internet and user permission android name equal to android permission dot access network state okay now in the good main activity around this f yes the app is running now see that uh, I this is edit text edit dot text dot twisting okay load data yes successfully displaying the result to Tony you can see student ID 2 student name Tony yes one load data one student ID one student name is John you can see A student ID three and name is Mary now the higher clause is working perfectly six Christina five Jack okay thanks for watching this tutorial thanks for watching this tutorial Please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon for upcoming videos.